Airports aren't the only place to find breathtaking inventions that take to the skies. In fact, we'll be going over some incredible flying machines in today's video. Let's get started. Hoversurf Scorpion 3 Dirt bikes aren't just for the roads anymore, in fact, you can take them up in the air. The Hoversurf Scorpion 3 is a hoverbike that closely resembles your typical dirt bike, with some key differences. Built from spatial carbon monocoque, this hoverbike is able to levitate off the ground due to the force from four active propellers. The user is able to control the Hoversurf Scorpion 3 with two joysticks. The device is stabilized with a built-in computer that will help the driver control their balance on takeoffs and landings. If you're not an experienced pilot, that's okay. The Hoversurf Scorpion 3 allows you to enter an autonomous mode, which will make the hoverbike fly itself, so you can sit back and enjoy the ride. This is all possible due to logic programming and computer aids. The Hoversurf Scorpion 3 is able to reach up to 10 feet in the air and can go as fast as 40 miles per hour. Currently, the battery life maxes out at 25 minutes before needing a recharge, so although the ride will be full of fun and thrills, it won't be very long. At least, not for now. If you want to take your biking experience to the next level, you should definitely check out the Hoversurf Scorpion 3. Jetpack Aviation JB10 You've no doubt seen these in movies, but did you know that you can get your very own jetpack in real life? Jetpack Aviation is a company dedicated to bringing these incredible inventions to life, and they've certainly succeeded with the JB10 jetpack. After their CEO flew the JB9 around the Statue of Liberty, they decided to up the game with the JB10. This jetpack is powered by two extremely powerful jets that propel up to 200 pounds of thrust. It's also made to be pilot-friendly, giving the user full and easy control of the jetpack. It is to be noted, though, that you do need a pilot's license to legally operate the JB-10 jetpack. That hasn't stopped people from flying it, though. In fact, the JB-10 is used for Red Bull's annual air race, in which competitors fly around using jetpacks. And what a race it must be, because the JB-10 can reach speeds as fast as 125 miles per hour. That's faster than a car on the highway. It currently can stay up in the air for 8 minutes, which is more than enough due to the jetpack weighing a total of 83 pounds. That must put a lot of weight on the user's shoulders. The JB-10 jetpack is currently available to buy through Jetpack Aviation, and although there's no listed price, it is available upon request. You'll definitely feel like an action movie star when using this amazing flying machine. Kitty Hawk Flyer in honor of the Wright brothers, pioneers of aviation, a team called Kitty Hawk has decided to unveil a flying machine of their own with the Kitty Hawk Flyer. With the goal to eventually eliminate traffic and the need for traditional cars, Kitty Hawk developed this user-friendly recreational flying car. It's flown using 10 motors and two control sticks, and that's it. Kitty Hawk wanted to make sure the flyer is simple to use so that your everyday civilian would have no problem using it as their main method of transportation. But it still has a long way to go. The Kitty Hawk is currently flown at 6 miles per hour at an altitude of 10 feet off the ground. But that's not the end goal for this company. In the future, they plan on having the Kitty Hawk reach speeds of your traditional car, 50, 60, to even 100 miles per hour. One may ask, what can the Kitty Hawk flyer do that a helicopter can? Well, it all comes down to the user interface. Helicopters are complicated, intricate, and in the wrong hands, fatal. The Kitty Hawk Flyer wants users to be able to take off on their own, while feeling safe all the while. Remember the name Kitty Hawk, because if they have their way, the streets will be filled with their flying machines in the years to come. Gravity Jet Suit If you've ever wondered what it's like to walk on the moon and experience low gravity, now is the time. Gravity Industries has developed a jet suit that will allow you to propel yourself into the air, in a similar fashion to an astronaut floating through space. Just a lot faster. This jet suit is powered by five gas turbine engines and is producing over a thousand brake horsepower and not to mention 318 pounds of thrust. What's the purpose of this machine? Well, it's not just to look cool. They hope that this machine will allow search and rescue missions to become a lot easier especially when looking for lost individuals in rough terrain. You'll get an overhead view of your surroundings, while keeping your fellow members of the search party safe.
Currently, the gravity jet suit has a range of 3 miles and can stay afloat for a total of 4 minutes at a time. It may not be able to stay in the air for too long, but that doesn't mean it's not powerful. The gravity jet suit can reach speeds as fast as 50 miles per hour and can reach an altitude of over 12,000 feet in the air. The suit has already saved its first life when test pilot Richard Browning used the suit to deliver plasma to an injured soldier in the middle of a gorge in the Slovenian mountains. We're excited to see just how many lives this gravity jet suit saves when it reaches its full capabilities. If you thought this flying machine was cool, make sure you stay till the end because they only get better. Flyboard Air Frankie Zapata, the creator of Flyboard Air, has dreamed of reaching new heights and with his current invention, he's doing just that. Flyboard Air is, as you can tell by the name, a flying machine like no other. Users simply strap their feet onto the board and take off, powered by its five turbine engines. It can reach up to 10,000 feet into the air and has a speed capacity of 124 miles per hour for a 10-minute flight time. It can also carry up to 260 pounds of weight. Zapata made this invention with a few things in mind. Firstly, he hopes it will help people access steep terrain, like cliff sides. He also wanted to make a flying machine that could withstand heavy winds. Safety is a huge concern for Zapata, so the flyboard air is designed in a way that if the engines somehow fail, the user will be able to safely perform a manual landing back onto the ground. If you're interested in seeing the flyboard air in action, Frankie Zapata shows it off in events around the world. So keep an eye out. The Flyboard Air may be coming to an event near you soon. Jetson 1 Named after the beloved children's cartoon The Jetsons, this flying car is definitely something you would see that futuristic family using in their day-to-day -day lives. Now, many of the flying machines on this list have had greater purposes, like aiding with search and rescue missions, reducing traffic, and even attempts to rid the world of traditional cars altogether. But the Jetson 1 is completely different. The designers wanted this flying machine to be for one thing and one thing only. Fun. This vehicle is for recreational use and from what we can see, that won't be a problem at all. Development began in 2017 and soon this ultralight flying machine, weighing in at only 190 pounds, will be available for you and your friends to take for a spin. At a cost, that is. Currently, the price tag for the Jetson 1 is $92,000. That's a lot of money, so if you do end up buying one, you better be sure to get as much use out of it as possible. Right now, the team behind this flying machine is currently working on breakthrough battery technology that will allow this time to be longer sometime in the future. They hope that, despite the high price tag and low battery life, the Jetson 1 will appeal to buyers due to its easy-to-use controls. The goal is to make it so anyone can fly one of these and have a good time while doing so. If this piques your interest, you may want to start saving up now. It may be a long time until a personal flying machine like the Jetson 1 will be more affordable to the public. Alpha Jetwing Some people long to imitate their favorite superheroes like Superman or Batman, flying through the skies and saving the day. Some people like Vince Reffer and Fred Fugan make those dreams a reality. Alpha Jetwing is a wearable glider that will take the user up to an altitude of over 6,000 meters. Right now, its creators are flying it around Dubai, a city that's home to many great tech inventions and the Alpha Jetwing just adding to that list. It's not meant to go very fast as the user is supposed to hover while wearing it, allowing them to capture footage of the city in front of them with the attached 4K camera that comes with the Jetwing. You can even take it up to a distance of 30 miles for 13 minutes per flight. When asked about the Alpha Jetwing, approved pilot Vince Reffitt said, I believe that if you dream big and if you love what you do, everything is possible. Which is something we definitely agree with, especially when it comes to breaking barriers in the aviation industry, such as he has with the Alpha Jetwing. Would you take off with the Alpha Jetwing? Let us know in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. Viva Arrow Nothing is worse than being stuck in traffic on a busy highway, especially when you're running late to an important meeting or date. Okay, now picture that same busy highway, but this time you're an emergency service vehicle who desperately needs to rush a patient to hospital. This is where the Zeva Arrow steps in. Zeva Arrow, a Tacoma-based startup company, has partnered with researchers at Washington State University 
to create a flying machine that would help save lives. Literally. This machine would be used by medical professionals to transport injured or sick individuals to the nearest healthcare facility at speeds as high as 160 miles per hour. And it can reach a distance as far as 50 miles as it searches for an available hospital. The team has created a prototype for this EVTOL. That's electric vertical takeoff and landing flying machine that is fully functional. This is a huge step in not only the tech and aviation industry, but the healthcare industry as well. Perhaps in the future, all ambulances will be replaced with a flying machine such as this one. Could you imagine? We may be far away from that becoming a reality, but only time can tell what the future for Zeva Arrow and the flying machine holds. And that's today's list. We hope you discovered some new flying machines that you didn't know existed before. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and of course subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.